Hi everyone, thanks for joining us tonight. Anglers will start to cast their lines tomorrow for the 74th annual Minnesota Governor's Fishing Opener. This event is taking place based out of the Cast Lake area and the Leech Lake Band of Ojibwe is working with the Governor's Office to ensure the opener's success. Reporter Mary Ballstead has more from Media Row at Norway Beach. It feels like normal. It feels like back before the, the COVID and some of the things that have happened, but it feels optimistic. It feels like this is the Minnesota we love. Governor Tim Walls arrived at the shores of Cass Lake today to prepare his fishing gear and is hoping to finally catch a walleye this year for the fishing opener. Under the guidance of Grand Rapids fishing guide Tom Newstrom, this will be the first time ever a Minnesota governor has cast their line on Lake Winnie for the fishing opener. We've got 11 sovereign nations. These are the folks that have been on this land in Minnesota longer than any of us. They're the stewards of the land, and I think being able to partner together to see we're in this together and listen to Chairman Jackson say, welcome, come and see what we have to offer. Uh, means a lot. Well, when you understand tribes, you know, we, you know how important our natural resources are is that we continue to, you know, to, to keep them pristine here with our waters and, you know, protecting our sovereign rights and, you know, just acknowledging, you know, our clean air and, you know, you know, thinking about our seven grandfather teachings on how we're supposed to take care of everything and respect everything that the Creator shares with us here. And I think the governor's thoughts are, are, are very similar. And you get to see what it takes to make something like this happen. It's partnerships. We hope that we build a lasting infrastructure, you know, um, that, that stays in place long after we're gone. And the Leech Lake Band of Ojibwe, Chairman Jackson, the council, um, have just been like incredible hosts. So we are we are so blessed and so lucky to, to be able to be here with them. An evening event was even held after the morning gathering to celebrate the uniqueness of the Chippewa National Forest with community leaders. Events like the fishing opener bring an approximate $8.4 billion in tourism to Northern Minnesota. This total includes hotels, bait shops, restaurants, and more, bringing an economic boom to the North. We know that there are about half a million people who are going to drop a line this weekend, which means that those people are headed to small towns across northern Minnesota and supporting their economies, as well as, you know, buying bait and tackle and all sorts of other things to kind of get fishing off the ground. So it is a really big economic driver at the beginning of the summer season. Coming out of COVID, we haven't done this for a couple of years, so it's uh, it's just fun to get out and celebrate uh, this rich tradition in the state of Minnesota. You know, the governor's fishing opener is not a partisan issue. Um, and, and, and I've always, I know how important it is to the state and the state's economy and all of the, the businesses that are, that are involved uh, with the fishing opener. The fishing opener brings different people from all over Minnesota to the Northwoods, promoting the businesses and activities, all while carrying on a long-held tradition. It's so tradition up here. This is, uh, how would you say, opening a fishing country. That's what this is, you know, and, and people migrate up here and, and it's all about they've done it with their families for decades and generations and they continue on and, and I think that's the important part is the experience. Reporting from Norway Beach in Cass Lake, I'm Mary Balsted, Lakeland News. Although there are, of course, state regulations on the amount of fish that can be caught, some lakes do have their own regulations, and the DNR is reminding people to check those rules before heading out onto the water. Chaz Moots will have more on the governor's opener coming up in sports. Lakeland News is member-supported content. Please consider supporting Lakeland News today.